All right, so Clockwork is finally out. So here's a tutorial that's going to show you everything you need to know to get started. So first things first, here's how the physics infuser works. The physics infuser is a very important block. It's what turns your regular blocks into things that can be affected by physics. So in create mod, we have the term contraption. The equivalent for that in Valkyrian Skies is a ship. So a ship can be affected by physics, and this is how you make one. So you take the physics infuser, you put it on top of whatever block you want to, and you use this blooper glue, like glue, but it's blue, and that connects them together. Now I'll right click the physics infuser with an empty hand and we'll infuse this block with physics. Here's an animation we can watch, and once the animation is over, both blocks will have physics applied to them. Alright, we have physics. And now what's cool is you can just build directly onto it. So I can place blocks directly onto it, and I don't have to glue it, and, well, because these blocks have weight, it tilts it over and it falls down. So what's cool is I can even remove the physics infuser and the block still has physics. So you know I can build onto it and it will be affected by the weight of whatever blocks are on it. And I can also use the Gravitron to pick it up and well throw it around however I feel like. This here's a setup where Obviously, it's going to fall over once I infuse physics into it, and I'll show you that you can speed up the process by right-clicking the physics infuser twice. So, always remember, the physics infuser has to be glued uh, to the rest of whatever you want to give physics, otherwise it will not work. So, here we go. I'm going to right-click twice. And there we go. It got its physics right away. That was faster than watching the animation. Okay, so this is a mod. It's about airplanes. It's about other stuff. The propeller is one of the fundamentals in this mod, so I'm going to show you how it works. What we have in front of us is the propeller bearing. This is kind of like a mechanical bearing, but specifically for Valkyrian Skies clockwork propellers. Propeller is just uh, some sails that are attached to a propeller bearing, right? So regular create mod sails on the special clockwork bearing. The way you control this is by rotational force, like most things in Create Mod. So what I have here is I have a creative motor, I have a clutch, and a gear shift. So I'm going to go ahead and unpower these, and I'm sending speed to it. If I flip this, well that just changes the direction. And then I can use a clutch to stop it. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward, but let's see this in action. So what I've set up is a little vertical machine. So you might notice that this is just floating in the air. Well, you can build a ship um, and then break the blocks and the blocks that are separated, well, they'll still know that they're part of the ship. That's a neat little thing that uh, I found out from uh, using uh, Valkyrian Skies. I don't know if that's just a clockwork thing or a general Valkyrian Skies thing, but it works. So here we have the creative engine. It's turning pretty slowly. I'm gonna slowly ramp this up because if I do it too fast I might fly up uncontrollably it's happened before let's give it a bit more speed more 80 I'm honestly kind of worried oh so we're starting to move now so I can't really control this other than by changing the speed or by toggling this switch this clutch. Alright, and you see, I went up and I came down not exactly where I was, but you can kind of tell that the direction that I came down in was based on where I was standing, so the gravity, I guess, kind of tilted it forward and made it fly in this direction. Okay, cool. So I'll just leave that there. So We've learned about propellers, but a plane obviously has things like wings, it has flaps to let it turn. Um, let's look at that, let's see how that works. So in clockwork, there's an important block called the flat bearing. Here it is. So this needs to be powered by rotational force, and it needs a redstone signal on either side, and that redstone signal will tell it which way to turn. And if I turn that lever, it'll flip another way. So if you want your plane to be able to go up, down, roll, and steer, you're going to need to use flaps. 
if I give it a little bit more speed, let's say we go all the way up to 256, and I flip the lever, it's going to turn a lot faster. So it turns almost instantaneously. And if I put both levers activated, well, it's just going to go back to the initial position as if there were no levers activated. One important note is that you should not power the um, bearing directly because that won't work. You can't put the lever on the bearing. You have to power the blocks next to it. So an important note is this is a flat block. Why am I bringing this up? Well, here we have a wing and here we have a flap. They look the same, but they don't behave the same. So a wing is different from a flap. A wing always provides lift. So you have your wing on your plane. Um, that's always going to pull you upwards so long as you're moving. A flap, on the other hand, will only provide lift if the bearing that it's on is activated. So, you know, your wings are wings and your flaps are flaps. While we're on that subject, sails. They look similar. They look like wings, but they're also different. Only use sails for propellers. Don't use them for anything else. Sails are for propeller bearings. Okay, so what is this thing here? This what, this useless thing fell on its side. It's a balloon, and I'm going to show you how it works. So we have some new blocks. This is the ballooner. The ballooner is basically, think of it as like the thing that shoots out fire in a real balloon. It gives you buoyancy. Right now, there's no buoyancy. Nothing is happening. The ballooner needs two things in order to give you buoyancy. It needs rotational force, but it also needs fuel. So, quick note, the fuel, it's not lava, it's not coal, it's frosting. So, in Valkyrian size clockwork, we use frosting as fuel. So right now it doesn't have a texture, but you can take this and use it on the container. Make sure you have a pump that's pumping the fuel into the ballooner. And what's going to happen is, I'm going to lower this because I don't want it to fly away uncontrollably. I'm going to flip this clutch and it should start filling up. I'm going to cautiously give it some more speed. And it takes a while to fill up. So right now, it looks like nothing's happening, but it's slowly filling up with air. On a larger balloon, this process can take several minutes. Okay, so starting to lift up. I'm going to flip that clutch just so we don't lose it. Alright, so I was on 32 RPM. I'm going to flip this clutch again. I'm going to give it a bit more RPM. Let's try to see it fly up. I just don't want to lose it because I've lost balloons before. Okay, so now it's going up. You see it's swinging because of physics. We're at Y level 230, and it seems to have stabilized up here. I think it can't go higher than this. Maybe I need to give it more RPM. If I give it more RPM, it can continue rising. Okay, let's lower this back down. So, yeah, it's slowly going to fall now. It's at 16 RPM. So I put it down to 1. I don't know what negative does, honestly. I think negative, I think it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. I think just the higher the absolute value means it's going to rise faster. So actually, I'm kind of surprised that it's stabilized up here. I guess it has enough hot air in it. I don't know what the exact physics are, but general rule is higher RPM makes it go higher and makes it be able to go higher faster. So let's flip this clutch and I think it's going to fall directly. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so even if it has hot air in it, flipping the um, clutch is going to make it fall pretty fast. It's like it just ignores all the hot air that it has in it when you flip the clutch, I think. I don't know what the exact physics are, but that seems to be how it's working. All right, just a quick note. In previous versions, the ballooner used a strato donut. It no longer uses a strato donut. It needs the fuel. So that means that my old balloon, well, it doesn't work anymore. I need to make some changes. So onward to one of the newer features in Clockwork. So this is a combustion engine. This also uses frosting as fuel, and it needs to be fed. So here I have a tank. Uh, you can't see it, but there's frosting fuel in here. 
and I'm feeding the engine with a pump. So we're getting 16 RPM and 16,000 stress units. So this is low in RPM, but pretty high in stress units. And it's a lot simpler than a steam engine, but it needs the fuel to run. Okay, cool. So what else? Well, there's another block that I want to talk to you about. It's the redstone resistor. And what it does is it allows you to vary the input speed from 0 to 100%. So you might think that sounds an awful lot like an adjustable chain gear shift. And it is pretty similar, but I'm going to show you what the differences are. So what I have here is the redstone resistor, and I have two different configurations of chain gear shifts uh, that will show you how all these work. And it might help demystify what the differences between the two are. So right now I have an analog lever, the strength is zero, the output is all 16 RPM. It's all the same as the input. So we're going to see what happens when I increase this strength a little bit. So now it's at a strength of four, and what do we see? Well we see this output is now 11.73, that's slower than the input. Here this one's also reduced, but it's not reduced by as much, it's only 12.9, whereas this one up here it goes up. So these are configurations that maybe you're already familiar with because these are from the base create mod. This is different. This is linear from zero to 100%. If I crank this all the way up, what's going to happen? Zero speed is going to come through. So that's interesting because up until now, there was no way to linearly really control your speed all the way from zero to 100% of your desired output. Now you can, uh, and you don't have to use a clutch. I think this could be useful even if you're just making things in create mod regularly. So I really like this addition, even though it's not flashy, it doesn't go fast or make you fly. It's pretty neat and it fills the gap that existed, I think, in create mod. So next thing is the Afterblazer. This thing is like a jet engine. It uses fuel just like the combustion engine or the ballooner. Um, and it's controlled also with a lever. So here we have, this is dangerous, it's a regular lever. Let me put a, an analog lever on it. So based on the redstone signal strength I give to it, it's going to go faster or slower. So I don't want to lose it, so I'm just going to put it up to 1, and we'll see even what a 1 out of 15 does. Alright, so see it started to move right away. Let's, okay, let's get a little crazy. I mean, I can't control, I can't steer this, but let's, you know, just flick a, a regular lever on this and see what happens. So, <laughs> so that's lost. That I'm not getting that back. I hope this was useful to you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, I have made my builds that you see in the back available for download, um, but I don't. No guarantees that they're gonna work because I made these in previous versions. So if they work, they work. If they don't work, I I'm not really planning on fixing them up. I'm gonna focus on new builds for the moment. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, thank you for watching.